Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, I had recently tried taking some of these 38 caliber, 124 grain uh, powder coated bullets and swaging them to 45 caliber uh, so that I could load them into 45 ACP shells. Well, uh, it has since occurred to me that I could take two of these swaged bullets and stack them on top of each other and then load that into a shell and make a duplex round uh, with a total payload weight just under 250 grains which is well within the uh, appropriate bullet weight range for 45 caliber pistol shells. Uh, so today I'm going to give the duplex round a try and we'll see what happens. Well, here's our first experimental duplex 45 ACP shell. Now, as you may recall, when I just loaded these bullets singly, uh, I was having problems with them canting a little bit in the shell. Uh, and I was hoping that, among other things, stacking two of them on top of each other might cause them to center a little bit better and uh, align themselves a little better with the cartridge case. But if anything, the opposite seems to be true. You know, this looks like it's even more canted than the ones that I was loading singly. So uh, that doesn't bode particularly well for our duplex rounds. But nevertheless, let's take them out to the range and see what they're capable of. It's kind of windy out at the range today, so I brought the camera in here to discuss results and conclusions rather than trying to do it uh, at the target. But as you saw, we had about a three and a half inch overall group size, uh, and that's uh, shooting a pistol offhand at 10 yards in this case. So that's acceptable accuracy. Uh, and then I was noticing as I was shooting that I, when I, for each shot that I fired, I typically get two holes about an inch apart. Uh, so the duplex rounds are actually working as such. Uh, in fact, that's probably about what we want because uh, obviously if the two projectiles spread out too much, then you lose practical accuracy. Uh, but if they stick together and just make one hole, then there's no advantage to firing two of them versus just a single bullet. Uh, so, you know, spreading one inch at 10 yards is probably just about what we want in the performance of a duplex handgun round. Now, as you saw, I also had a lot of feeding malfunctions. In fact, I don't think that any of these test rounds actually fed correctly from the magazine. Uh, and that's probably attributable to a couple of factors. You know, on the one hand, I admittedly started with a pretty conservative powder charge since there's obviously no published data on loading these duplex rounds. Uh, and so it's possible that the uh, recoil is not quite cycling the slide hard enough uh, in order for it to cycle reliably. But I think probably the bigger issue is just the bullet geometry, these short stubby bullets don't feed real reliably, at least not in this particular gun. So there's definitely some work left to be done if we want to develop this round to the point of practical utility. And honestly, I'm not sure if there's any application for which a duplex pistol round would offer enough of a tangible advantage to really warrant doing that development work. But uh, as a proof of concept, uh, I think we have demonstrated that at least as a random novelty, duplex pistol ammunition is certainly possible. Uh, and I certainly had fun with this experiment. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. And until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.